What's up guys, Jason Wheeler with Blue Diamond Realty. I'm over here at 8078 Cavazzo. This is way down in the Southwest area, down like a little bit south of Blue Diamond. It's right next to the property, you can see where there's like the little um, doggy area, doggy walking area. And then also right here is the entry gates. That's an elementary school right there. This is a 2020 build, four bedroom, three bathroom. There's also a den and a loft. You have pavers on the driveway and pavers on the porch. This is a nice house, guys. It's not brand new, but it's a lot newer than a lot of them that you're gonna find out there. So when you walk in, you just have a coat closet right here. You got this two panel door throughout. I'll give you a quick look at the garage. The garage has a tankless water heater. I wanna say you've got about a 10 foot ceiling in here, maybe nine. And they've done like a flick, flake, uh, salt and pepper and gray colored epoxy roll down floor in the garage. Nice touch. Okay, so when you come in, here's the, you know, we're in the foyer here, and here's the living room and going up the stairs. You have your hall bathroom as well as like a den over here. This is like a little den slash office type setup. And you do have your half bathroom, just a powder room with a toilet and a pedestal sink. Pretty good size compared to a lot of the little water closets you'll find out there. Uh, oh, they've got some buckling here on that on that uh, baseboard. That's probably gonna need to be dealt with. I don't know if they had water damage or something. But pretty nice, like, open feel on this great room here. This is a, looks like a luxury vinyl plank flooring here. And like 42 inch upper cabinets, really nice looking island. You've got a granite countertop in here. That's a Whirlpool appliance package that they've got in here. Let's take a look at this food pantry. Pretty good size. You know, it's a walk-in pantry. Pretty good size for a pantry. I'll give you a quick peek at the backyard while I'm over here. The backyard is not huge, but it's super clean and nice. You do have some faux grass, and then you have a paver deck out here. Guys, I'm trying to go a little slower in my videos. I've been a little herky-jerky lately on some of my stuff with kind of being erratic and I had some some feedback which like I said earlier I don't mind some good constructive criticism so I do agree that some of them were really fast and I wasn't really paying attention to the also to the camera just kind of all over the place so trying to make an effort to improve on that and uh hopefully you'll notice that they do have some kind of like a more modern smart type of thermostat. I haven't seen that brand core. There's no window coverings in here, guys, but there are curtain rods throughout. So you'll just need to bring your own window coverings, whatever you want. And those uh, curtain rods are already on. So heading upstairs, you know, the carpet is, it's only a 2020 build. The carpet's actually in really good condition. It definitely could use vacuuming. You know, there is some debris on the floor a little bit here and there. So when you come up the top of the stairs, you do have a loft. So four bedrooms plus a den plus a loft, you've got a ton of space. You could have four full bedrooms and still have, you know, the downstairs office and an upstairs office if two people needed offices, you know, or this upstairs chilling, chilling out like upstairs living room situation. You have a laundry room here. 
It's a matching set of Amanas. That's a tile floor there in the laundry room. Then you've got a double door linen closet here. And then this is the master bedroom. Again, no window coverings, but you got those curtain rods. Carpet's in really good shape, guys. So, master bathroom, master closet. I'll show you the closet first. That's uh, a lot of space, guys. I mean, not necessarily a ton of, you know, closet rungs for hanging up all of your stuff over here. But when you're in here, you're not going to be super cramped up. So you could, you know, change in here and stuff if you needed to. And then in the master bathroom, you have a, it's a really nice looking ceramic tile on the floor. And then you have a dual sink vanity. This is like a white quartz. Um, it actually really looks like a silestone or a corian on the counter in here. Um, oval soaking tub linen closet here and then um, the toilet is just over here there's no door on this toilet on this water closet just so you know hmm. let's see what's going on over here that's just somebody's backyard it's got a lot of um turf back there see down onto your backyard that's what your neighbor's backyard would look like looks like they take care of their place and don't have a bunch of junk back there which is always a good thing i don't see like junk it's nice when people don't have junk all over for you to look out of your windows at You know, you definitely want to get some window coverings because your neighbors have a bunch of windows right there, so you don't want to be looking at each other. You've got dual air intakes, which means you've got two air conditioners on the property. So this is going to be like bedroom number two. It's got a walk-in closet. Let's see if there's a light. Yeah, pretty good-sized walk-in closet for, you know, one of the smaller bedrooms. There's actually, you know, bedrooms two, three, and four are pretty good size, guys. Um, this is going to be the hall bath that services bedrooms two, three, and four, and the loft. So this is probably going to be bedroom number two, uh, bedroom number four, actually. It's um, appearing to be the smaller of all the bedrooms and just has a small little wardrobe closet on it. No walk-in, by far the smallest dimensions. Um, this is going to be bedroom two. That first one I went into is bedroom three. And then the smallest one was bedroom four. So pretty nice size bedroom. This is a good size room, really. And then you have a really good size walk-in closet. Yeah, so obviously we had the master bedroom. And then this one down here that I just came out of, that's... Probably considered bedroom two. This would be bedroom four. It's the smallest. And then that's probably bedroom three. Bedrooms two and three are about the same size. And then you have this loft. So hall bathroom, dual vanities. There's uh, just your toilet here. And then your tub is fiberglass. That's a good size soaking tub. Curtain rod. Okay. Yep, yep. Let me shut off the laundry room light. One more look at that loft. And then we're heading down. That's pretty much it, guys. This is not my listing. I am not the listing agent. I am a real estate agent and licensed, but this isn't mine. I'm not a property manager. I'm not the property manager. This one is listed by Mike Chung of Garden Realty. 
He's asking for a $95 application fee per adult. I want to say he asks for a 450 cleaning deposit and a 150 uh, uh, cleaning deposit, or I'm sorry, key deposit. And then this one was priced at $2,295 per month. I'm sure the security deposit is the same as the rent. It usually would be. You need your two, mo your four most recent pay stubs and your WT, as well as a copy of your ID. If you're self-employed, you need your W, your uh, tax return. Uh, you do need your W-2s. And uh, if you look closely in the listing description in the video, as well as my social media links, such as my uh, you know marketplace ad and and or Craigslist ads and wherever else I put this. I'll give you uh, more details about how to get into contact with them. If you'd like me to send you an application, just uh, message me that you want the application and I'll send it. You might check the listing detail. I've been considering going ahead and linking the application in the listing description. It's something I'm probably gonna start doing. Just try to provide all the things that people ask because it just makes it way easier than, you know, one, one at a time, just people messaging about every little thing. If, See if I can provide it and save you some time, guys. So, yeah, really nice house. Definitely could do a lot worse. This is way, way down in the southwest, down off of, like, uh, Silverado Ranch, but then extremely far to the west in what I, would, what I would consider to be, like, south of Blue Diamond area. You probably have a 20 to 25-minute drive into the strip from here. If I had to guess, maybe closer to 20. It's a pretty quiet neighborhood. It's almost four o'clock on a Wednesday. I'm just gonna put this key back in the lockbox, guys. I'll just show you the side of the house and then we'll be done. So gas meter, you've got, you know, they've got uh, Republic services out here for the trash. And then I could have sworn there was two air conditioning units, but I'm only seeing one. So that's interesting, unless it's somewhere else on the property. But yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for looking. Um, you know, subscribe to my channel, guys. And, um, you know, usually on these rentals, you're only going to be able to hold the property for about two weeks. So if you're looking for something like, you know, 30, 45, 60 days out, you know, something in June, guys, it's, it's not going to work out. You know, these the, people are buying these for investments for cash flow and stuff. Um, you know, nobody's going to hold this property off the market for you for two, three, four months. It's just, it doesn't make it any sense. It makes the investment a loser. So, uh, you know, but subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. I've got a bunch of videos. If you hit the video link, you can go and see a bunch of my other um, videos, um, a bunch of rentals. Uh, more and more properties of properties for sale coming. Some of my fix and flips, before and afters, different things like that. And uh, if you guys don't mind, if you're able, could you please hit the like button? It really helps. I do appreciate it. If you comment on the video, uh, I will respond. I will reply. And uh, if you're looking to buy, definitely hit me up on that. I will help you. I've been in Las Vegas for over 20 years. I'd love to help you out if you're a buyer. I do work with sellers. I work with landlords occasionally on some vacancies. Uh, don't really work with a lot of tenants, guys. If you're hitting me up saying, hey, could you help me with a rental? Guys, I'm helping you. I've got like 40 videos already of properties for rent. So I'm letting you see full video tours. I'm saving you a tremendous amount of time. I can put you in touch directly with the management companies if you need to. So I am helping you. Um, can I run around and show you every property that's for rent? No, I'm just uh, super busy and I'm unable to do that, guys. So I'll help you how I can. But uh, but yeah, um, hit me up, guys. If, uh, if I can help you, I'll try to. Thanks for looking, guys. Take care. Good luck out there. It's tough. It's tough on the rentals, guys. Take care. Good luck.